right. Today we're going to talk about um, how to use integration, um, the fundamental theorem of calculus, to determine some different values for function and compare them. Um, we're given here a graph of a function, and we're going to answer these three questions. All right. Question A says, which is a larger, h of 0 or h of 6? Now, h, just so you're aware, because that's not given here, all right, um, h is actually the integral, all right, from 0 to um, x of f of t dt, all right, and this right here is f of t, which equals y right there, okay, and that's what we have right there. So that is what h is. Now, when we have this right here, we're going to say which is larger. Well, we're going to go from h of 0, Okay, so if we plug in h of 0, we have integral from 0 to 0, okay, of f of t dt. Now, we can realize that that is going to equal 0. And then we're going to compare that with h of 6. Now, h of 6 is going to be from 0 to 6 of f of t dt. And you realize that from 6, what's happening is this value is positive. Okay, this value is positive. And since we're finding the integral, we're actually finding the area of the curve. So this value from 0 to 6 is all positive area. So what that means is that h is increasing on this interval. Okay, um, using the fundamental theorem, we know that, that f is actually the derivative okay, of h um, using that fundamental theorem. So because of that, all right, um, h of 6 is going to be larger than h of 0. All right, because those values are getting bigger, okay? It's because h is increasing on the interval from 0 to 6. So that's what we have right there, okay? Um, f is increasing, or h is increasing, and therefore um, we have that. Uh, another one is, which is larger, h of h prime of 0 or h prime of 6? Well, looking at this, h prime of 0, all right, we can kind of look at this, and we can kind of see what that, that would be. All right, and we're going to get h prime of 6. Now, when we're finding and identifying these, we have to identify, well, how does that relate with f? Well, we identified up here, h prime is actually f. So we're looking for, we're going to compare f of 0, and we're going to compare f of 6. <clears throat> well, in both of these cases, we can see that f of 0, all right, f of 0 is going to equal 8. f of 6, you can see, is going to be 0. So which one is bigger? Well, it appears that 8 is bigger than 0, which we know is a fact, so that means h prime of 0 is going to be larger. All right, then finally, we have h double prime of 0. Well, h double prime of 0 is equal to f prime. So that means we're looking for the slopes, okay, the slopes. So if we compare h double prime of 0, we're essentially comparing that with f prime of 0, f prime of 0. All right, and if we look over here at h double prime of 6, we're essentially comparing that with f prime of 6. Now, seeing that we have this right here and we look at that, we can see that there's a little bit of a slope and it appears, it appears that it's leveling off. So I would say the slope at 0, all right, taking a one side limit, appears to be approaching 0. Appears to be approaching 0. So I would say that. We see that the slope, the slope, all right, at 6, appears to be, well, we know that f is decreasing. f is decreasing, all right, um, at 6. All right, at 6, at when uh, t equals 6. So if f is decreasing at t equals 6, then um, that means that f prime of 6 should be less than 0. So that's going to be negative. Well, seeing that, what we know then is this right here, all right, 0 is going to be larger than a negative number, so that would once again mean that h double prime of 0 is going to be larger than h double prime of 6. Okay. As you can see, what we used was integrals, the fundamental theorem of calculus, and understanding the graph and what an integral relates to each other, how they relate with each other to the original function um, h. All right, or how... Yeah, how the integral relates to that h value there. Um, so as you're going through and doing the problem solving, um, key thing is look at the graph, identify the function, 
and try to put that in terms of what that is to h by saying that h prime equals f or h double prime equals f prime, and then it allows you to help you solve the regular problems a lot more efficiently and, and, and accurately. All right. Well, good luck and God bless on the remainder of your, your problems and uh, the rest of your math classes.